Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we'll try to understand how to transform the data using if condition. We are having a problem, a case study that a company wants to give increment of 20% for employees who are in managerial level and having an education of more than 8 years and having previous experience of more than 60 months. The data is an employee data which we are going to use. This data is available in the samples of SPSS. It will be available with you also. So on the basis of all this condition, we want to give increment to an employee. But first of all, we will have to satisfy this condition. He, should be in man he or she should be in managerial level, having an education of more than eight years and having previous experience of more than 60 months. So here, the two things are together. One, transformation is there and we have to use if condition also. So go in transform, compute variable. If your previous command is on, make sure that you press reset. Now I want to specify the condition. So you will go in if. Activate the second part. Now transfer job category here equal to three because managerial is coded as three. Now activate and education we require should be more than eight years so transfer education here it should be more than eight again and because all these conditions are to be satisfied simultaneously and previous experience of more than 60 months so i'll transfer this also it should be more than 60 months continue make sure that whatever condition you specify it is highlighted below. Now those employees which satisfy this condition, we have to give the increment of 20%. So transfer this salary here, press asterisk and make it 1.2 times. 1.2 times, that's 20%. And write it down, the new variable as increment. Press OK. A new variable will be generated. So this is, this employee has satisfied all the conditions and therefore the increment was given. Now it may be quite possible that you will have to search for the, all the employees those have got increment. Instead of this, click here, right click and sort in descending. You can see here, all those employees which have been promoted or given increment are segregated by sorting ascendingly or descendingly. So here you can see the IDs are there and this increment is there. So for more videos on SPSS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can see my playlist in which I've already uploaded many videos of SPSS. Please don't forget to press the like button. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.